so the reason we started working with architects was we wanted to make this game with this island with all sorts of interesting things on it. And mm -hmm. the game had to have gravitas. It had to be like serious. And if you go to a, like a game concept artist and ask them, drop some concept for this fictional building, you know, if, if, if they're not educated in buildings, mm. then what you'll get back just doesn't maybe have a certain depth to it, I would say. It's hard to explain why this matters if you don't already get it. But after we started working with screenshots, I was looking through a, a video game magazine, right? Mm -hmm. There's a large image on the page about some forthcoming RPG, okay. single player RPG that everyone was excited about. And the screenshot was like a bridge going over a river mm. with some guards typical RPG scene. Sure. The bridge, I could tell now that I'd been looking at things and was thinking about this, was like a tiny footbridge, mm -hmm. but it had been scaled up by about 10 times. Oh, yeah. And it was just like this massive, tiny footbridge going over. If you want to convince people that you've paid attention to details and, and given them something that's well considered mm. and that you cared about, then that kind of thing breaks that feeling in the player. Now, that probably doesn't break the feeling in most players, because most players are maybe not thinking about bridges, but there's other versions of that. Mm -hmm. There's fiction versions of it and, and whatever. And, and most games fail at that to some degree. Is this for Honor 5? You need to stop and your crew OK, OK, hold on, hold on. This is one of my video game pet peeves. This bridge, Stop and your crew. look at that bridge. How many things are wrong with this bridge? So many, so many things are wrong. <laughs> like, okay, first of all, if the goal of the bridge is to truck stuff across the water, uh, A, you would not have a very sharp kink in the road right before the bridge because you're literally like hauling goods across it all the time. B, you would not have a very steep grade at the beginning of the bridge because you're hauling goods up it. You would have a much milder slope for a long time. C, this is not architectural at all. This is, would be a reasonable structure for a small object. Like if it was like... Um, Let's see if we can get a per oh, there were people in the shot right there. Um, like, this would be a stone structure that would stand reasonably if this was a person-sized doorway. And I feel like that's what somebody did is they took some temple mesh set from like the Unity Asset Store that was made to be person-sized and they just enlarged it by like a hundred times, right? These are people. Um, this wouldn't like make any sense at all as like a large construction, right? And this is a thing that happens in video games all the time is like big bridges usually look like really small bridges scaled up. This is fantasy MMO, let people have some creative fun. No, like games should be made competently. I'm sorry, like if, if something looks obviously wrong as soon as you see it, then that's bad. It's more of a monument than a functional bridge. I mean, sure. This is not supposed to be realistic. It's like the statues in Lord of the Rings. I mean, maybe. I don't know. But like, if you use that excuse for everything, then nothing good ever gets made. It just That just leapt out. As soon as I saw that bridge, I was just like, that's so not 